These wars and this misguided foreign policy, in my opinion, is a symptom of us all going a little crazy back in 2000, starting with the Republican Party. Let me just share a uh, where we, <laughs> there you go. Uh, let me just share some thoughts on this with you, if I may. This is uh, you know war is hell, and in fact, let's go to that whole notion. Not only is war hell, but um, the notion of of e of evil. We historically in the United States, you know, maybe 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 uh, George W. Bush and the Republicans. Just for a moment, let's, let's just imagine that possibly they actually went to the dark side. Historically, this, this five-pointed star was man. Right? It meant man. It's, it's, it was a good, it's, the, it's the good thing. And if you flipped it upside down, the upside down five-pointed star with the goat with his chinny chin chin and his ears and his horns was the sign of Satan worshipers, a satanic star. Now, you can see on the American flag, our stars are right side up. All across America, you'll see symbols with five-pointed stars. The stars are right side up, the, the man stars. But around the year 2000, the Republican Party changed their logo from the stars being right side up to the stars being upside down, coincided with the, the coming on the scene of George W. Bush and Karl Rove. Very strange. I think they need an exorcism. <laughs> Let's exercise them. Here's the exorcism. Number one, end the Bush tax cuts. Number two, end the Bush wars. And number three, end the crazy notion that corporations are people, that money is speech, and that the rich can buy our nation. If we did that, we might bring the Republican Party back to sanity, back to its Dwight Eisenhower roots, back to the days when they actually could have an opposite opinion from the Democrats, but honestly broker solutions and, and uh, situations and have reasonable conversations. Exorcisms for the Republican Party. Good idea.